Step into the world of Marvin Gaye, a musical genius who faced unseen struggles behind his soulful melodies, leading to a heartbreaking finale. Discover the complex journey and lasting legacy of a voice that continues to echo through the ages. Marvin Gaye's journey began on April 2, 1939, in Washington, D.C., in a household that was as complex as the melodies he would later compose. Raised in a strict Pentecostal family, the young Marvin Pence Gay Jr. found solace and escape in music, initially through the hymns and spirituals he sang at his father's church. These early experiences not only honed his vocal prowess, but also instilled in him a profound sense of the spiritual and emotional power of music. Marvin Gaye emerged as a star in the 1960s, signing with Motown Records and achieving fame with hits like I Heard It Through the Grapevine, How Sweet It Is, To Be Loved By You, and Let's Get It On. His collaborations with Tammy Terrell, including Ain't No Mountain High Enough, solidified his status as the Prince of Soul. Yet, it was his 1971 album What's Going On, a profound reflection on social issues and the Vietnam War that marked a turning point in Gay's career, positioning him not just as a musical talent but as a voice for social consciousness. Behind the music, Marvin Gaye's life was fraught with challenges. Struggling with depression, substance abuse, and tumultuous relationships, Gaye's personal demons often overshadowed his professional success. His marriages to Anna Gordy and later to Janice Hunter ended in divorce, reflecting a pattern of instability and heartache in his personal life. The pressures of fame, combined with his mental health and addiction issues, painted a picture of a man in constant battle with himself and his circumstances. The roots of the tragic narrative can be traced back to Marvin Gaye's upbringing under the stern eye of his father, a preacher who enforced a rigorous regime on his children, beating them for minor infractions. Marvin Gaye bore the brunt of his father's wrath more so than his siblings, a treatment that sowed the seeds of a fraught relationship. Despite this, Marvin Gaye found solace and escape in music, a passion that his father introduced him to, ironically, by teaching him to play the piano and having him sing in the church choir. As Marvin Gaye's fame grew, so too did his battles with depression, drug abuse, and financial instability. Despite his professional success, his personal life was in disarray, leading him to seek refuge in Europe in the early 1980s. However, the pull of family and unresolved issues brought him back to the United States, where he moved into his parents' home in Los Angeles in an attempt to find some measure of stability and reconcile with his past. The return home, however, did not bring the peace Marvin Gaye sought. The old tensions with his father quickly resurfaced, fueled by Marvin Gaye Sr.'s disapproval of his son's lifestyle and Marvin Gaye's own deteriorating mental health. The household became a powder keg of emotional volatility, with arguments and confrontations becoming increasingly frequent. The situation reached a tragic boiling point on April 1, 1984, a day before Marvin Gaye's 45th birthday. On the morning of that fateful day, an argument broke out between Marvin Gaye's parents over misplaced insurance policy documents. The altercation was not unusual in the Gay household, where arguments had become a common occurrence, especially with Marvin Gaye's return to the family home. However, on this day, Marvin Gaye intervened in his parents' dispute in an effort to calm the situation. This intervention led to a physical confrontation between Marvin Gaye and his father, a culmination of years of unresolved tension and anger. Marvin Gaye, in a move uncharacteristic of the peaceful and introspective persona he presented to the world, physically shoved his father out of his room and allegedly kicked him when he was down. This act of aggression towards Marvin Gaye Sr., a man known for his strict and often harsh demeanor, was a breaking point in their already strained relationship. It set in motion the events that would lead to Marvin Gaye's tragic death. Minutes after the altercation, Marvin Gaye Sr. retrieved a .38 caliber pistol that Marvin Gaye had previously given him for protection. He then returned to Marvin Gaye's room and shot his son at point-blank range. The first bullet struck Marvin Gaye in the heart, proving to be fatal, while the second hit his shoulder. Despite immediate efforts to save him, Marvin Gaye was pronounced dead upon arrival at the California Hospital Medical Center, just one day shy of his 45th birthday. The argument and subsequent shooting were not only a tragic end to Marvin Gaye's life, but also a poignant symbol of the singer's lifelong struggle for approval and understanding from his father. The complex dynamics of their relationship, marked by a mix of love, resentment, and unfulfilled expectations, ultimately played out in the most tragic way imaginable. 
In the wake of Marvin Gaye's death, his father, Marvin Gaye Sr., was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. The case quickly garnered significant media attention, not only because of the celebrity of the victim, but also due to the tragic irony of a father taking his son's life. However, the trial took a turn when Marvin Gaye Sr. pleaded no contest to a voluntary manslaughter charge. His defense presented evidence of his diminished mental capacity and health issues, which included a brain tumor diagnosed after the shooting. Marvin Gaye Sr.'s sentence reflected the complexity of the case, as he was given a suspended six-year sentence and probation, with the requirement to undergo rehabilitation and therapy. The relatively lenient sentence was met with mixed reactions from the public and those close to Marvin Gaye, reflecting the nuanced and deeply personal nature of the tragedy. Marvin Gaye's death left a void in the music industry that was felt immediately and has continued to resonate over the years. As a pioneering soul and Randy B. artist, Marvin Gaye had pushed the boundaries of music, addressing social issues, and exploring the complexities of love and human emotion in his work. His loss was mourned by fellow musicians and artists, many of whom cited him as a major influence on their own careers. Tributes poured in from across the music world, with artists and industry figures reflecting on Marvin Gaye's contributions and the legacy he left behind. Concerts, memorial services, and tribute albums were organized in his honor, underscoring the profound impact of his music and the deep respect he commanded among his peers. In the years following Marvin Gaye's death, his influence on music and culture has remained undiminished. Annual tributes, re-releases of his work, and continued scholarly and critical interest in his career are testament to his enduring legacy. Marvin Gaye's spirit lives on in his music, which continues to inspire and move audiences around the world, ensuring that his contributions to music and society will not be forgotten. If you're captivated by the stories of music legends and the powerful legacies they leave behind, don't miss out on any of our deep dives into their lives and impacts. Subscribe to our channel now and join us on this journey through the beats of history. Let's keep the music and memories of icons like Marvin Gaye alive together. Click that subscribe button and ring the bell to ensure you never miss a note of our explorations into the souls of music's greatest.